Welcome to this overview about Comscope's online fiber tools. Firstly, the fiber performance calculator. Navigate to resources and then find the fiber performance calculator ULL tile on that page. On this interface, select the type of fiber that you want to use in your design. The next thing to choose is the cable length and then to select whether you're working with meters or feet. Once you've entered the cable length, then decide what components you're going to put into your channel. Keep adding the components until you've completely built out the channel that you want to have in your data center. Once you've completed that exercise, there's a table below the design. In there, you'll see red numbers and green numbers. The green numbers show the applications that are supported by the channel that you've designed. The red numbers are still able to be supported, but not to that length. You can then download this information as a PDF once you've filled out a little bit of information to help you later on in your project reviews. Export the information, then you get the PDF. And this is a representation of everything that you entered into the user interface. So once again, this is something that you can use in your design reviews or show to your customer, but you can keep it in your file and these are the values and distances and applications that Comscope stands behind. Next, we have the Fiber Guide Design Pro. Again, navigate to the tile in my applications. Click on the Fiber Guide Design Pro icon. Once you've done that, start the process by clicking Fiber Guide Design Pro. The first thing you need to do is to upload a layout of a data center. And that image can be JPEG, it can be PDF, PNG, GIF. Find the file on your laptop or computer and simply open it to upload it. Once you've uploaded the plan, then you need to select the fiber guide components that you're going to use to create your raceway. There are a number of different colors available a number of different sizes of fiber raceway available. And then the different components are found here. Once we selected, for example, the straight section, then we need to select the exact straight section that we want to, to put on the plan as our anchor component. Once that's in place, we can simply right click on it and then navigate and align it to where we need it to be on top of the plan. Once that's in place, then you can start to add additional components and build your raceway by adding additional componentry. And that componentry can be moved to suit your design below. Next thing you need to do is enter information about your project, i.e. the date, the project name, the site, and the end customer. Once you perform that, then you can look at additional accessories that need to be added and they'll be automatically calculated by the tool. So here, these are just the mounting bracket options that we're adding just for demonstration. Once you've done that, click the check and process button and the tool automatically ensures that everything is right within the configuration and you get the green tick. After that, click process configuration. From this point, you get a list of projects that you've worked on previously and a list of options. Once we find our project, we can preview it, we can edit it, and we can look at the results. So let's take a look at some of the results. And you can see they, be, they can be downloaded as text, Excel, or PDF. If we look at the PDF version, this gives you the opportunity to look at the component and manipulate the component as well. Obviously, if you have a bigger design, that will be represented here as well. And here's an example of an Excel spreadsheet just showing the bill of materials that's associated with the design we just created. Okay, next tool is the fiber pathway and spaces calculator. Again, navigate to the tile and find the tile that says pathways and spaces calculator. This is a simple user interface where you get to decide the fill rate percentage ratio that you want to have in your raceway or conduit and the product type that's going to be in there. You also get the opportunity to put in custom raceway or conduit sizes and cable sizes. 
Once you've completed that, the table below auto populates and it shows you the number of cables that can be fitted comfortably into the size conduit or path you've selected. From there, you can create a PDF. And again, that PDF can be used by you in project reviews or to show the customer exactly what the fill ratio would be of cables. Thank you.